With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, in the situation shown, each cell has an EMF of 4 volts and internal resistance of 1 ohm. We have to find the maximum power that can be delivered to the variable load resistance R. And we are given 4 options from which we have to choose the correct option. Let's find out. It is given that the EMF of each cell is 4 volts. So the total EMF E will be equal to E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4. Where E1 is the EMF of this cell, E2 is the EMF of this cell, E3 is the EMF of this cell and E4 is the EMF of this cell. As E1 is equal to E2 is equal to E3 which is equal to E4. So E comes out to be 4 into 4 which is 16 volts. The internal resistance of each cell is 1 ohm. So the total internal resistance R will be equal to 1 into 4 which is 4 ohms. We have to find the maximum power that can be delivered to the variable load resistance. And the maximum power P is given by E square upon R where E is the EMF of the cell and R is the total resistance of the circuit. R is equal to the internal resistance plus this resistance, let it be R dash. For maximum power, let R dash, which is a variable resistance, let it be equal to zero because power is inversely proportional to resistance. So to find maximum power, this resistance should be minimum. So this comes out to be the resistance is equal to the internal resistance. Let's substitute the values in this equation. This will give us power is equal to E is 16. So 16 square divided by R is equal to the internal resistance which is 4 ohms. And after solving we get power is equal to 64 watt. So option number 1 is correct. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.